Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We're doing a nighttime shave today because we spent most of the day taking down uh, Christmas decorations. So this is the first chance I've gotten. Uh, we're going to go back to our vendor spotlight. Now, these vendors can be found on www.theshavingcadre.com as well as their own websites. So without further ado, our vendor of today is going to be Victory Shaving Company. Uh, I am a big fan of uh, these soaps. Being an aviation nut and a World War II fanatic, uh, this is right down my wheelhouse. And Dale and his wife are a small artisan based out of uh, Wyoming. And uh, their primary, besides their website, their primary distribution channel is air shows and stuff like that with the Air Force Base. So uh, being a former Air Force crew dog, uh, it's perfect. Now, the other thing that should be said about Dale is that we approached him, and this soap specifically I'm using is Tough Hombres. And basically, uh, the notes on this are black cedar, juniper, fig leaf, and lime. And it's got just a, a wonderful... And the reason why he went with the thing, because we wanted to do a CEC, or Central Enablement Center, type of thing. And if you can see that... Um, the 12 hombres and this is an actual uh world war ii uh division and basically they were the i believe the yeah uh batch number june 6 1944 d-day d-day utah beach now the nice thing about this soap is and i want to thank everybody from uh, the shavingcadre.com that purchased this soap because proceeds from this went to the Fisher House and uh, Dale made a very sizable um, donation to the Fisher House, which helps military families. So that's neat. Uh, and uh, Dale, uh, we thank you so much. Uh, Dale and I have gotten to be pretty good friends and um, we're so glad that uh, COVID hit them pretty hard and uh, we're so glad that he's still here and surviving and uh, doing very, very well. So for the rest of the shave today, staying with a uh, aviation themed area, we're going to go with the Blackbird, uh, Blackland Blackbird Titanium. And this has got a brand new Bolzano blade. And then uh, recently, uh, Shane from Blackbird came out with the Blackbird aluminum handled shaving brush. And it's very heavy. Uh, it's a very, very weighted brush. Feels good in the hand. And then uh, from another Air Force crew dog that gave me this a couple years ago as a present, um, Avon Wild Country in the Avon microphone. And then still sticking with the military, uh, we are going to be doing Duke Cannon Randolph Proper Cologne. So this is the second... Uh, Second night shave I've done. Um, not normal what I normally do, but uh, it uh, it's working pretty good. Now, um, Dale's soaps are a vegetable base, and they are um, they do contain olive oil. Now, a lot of people had had were really worried that an olive oil based soap uh, could not lather real well because apparently other makers have had a problem. Uh, Dale's soaps, and I've got I don't know nine or ten of them. I think I've got his whole line. Uh, they don't, uh, they are wonderful, wonderfully sick, slick. They lather well and they load very, very easily. So don't let, um, those connotations of olive oil being in a soap not be good. They're wonderful soaps. And all of them have either nose art or squadron or, uh, division type artwork on them. He does all the artwork himself. And it's all military inspired. In fact, if you want to see a really cool website, make sure that you go to his website at www.victoryshavingcompany.com. Uh, it's fantastic. And there's also a link to the TSC as well. And everything is mission based, so it's kind of cool. And this specific uh, limited edition, and it is, I believe it's sold out now, but you would think that the, um, the notes wouldn't necessarily mix together, but oh man, is it just phenomenal. And it's pretty cool for those of you on the forum that are in the uh, sabbatical. Do you guys have your own soap? Do you guys have uh, your own soap? Oh, I didn't think so. But the Central Enablement Center has its own soap. 
So join us, join us, buy more stuff. You don't need to be in a sabbatical. Sorry, Kev Dog, I had to do that. But as you can see, it feels very nice on the face. It's very, very soft, very slick. And just a wonderful soap uh, to use, easy to lather and everything else. So uh, please check Dale out on our website or on his website. This is the second new Bolzano blade that I've put in a razor because it just, it's really smooth out of the gate. And I need to thank Brian Scuttle Soap for turning me on to these because these are fast becoming favorites, especially right out of the box. And the Blackbird, especially the Titanium, is a fairly aggressive DE, safety bar razor. And even the Wizumets, the Nassets that I've tried in this razor are a little bit rough at first, but this Bolzano is just perfect. And the one thing I've noticed about Dale's soaps is the fragrance does not go away. Uh, it sticks around pretty well. And I personally think that the olive oil actually enhances the soap. And keeping it super slick. The only thing that can be a little difficult with Dale's soaps, or with some flavors, is finding an aftershave that uh, pairs real well. But uh, in this case, the wild country is perfect. But just to give you an idea on how Dale keeps that military theme, uh, some of the names of his soap are flak bait, Red Tail, Champagne Lady, Navigator, Flight Engineer, Angels 12, and all of them are fantastic. And the residual slickness of Dale's soaps, Victory Shaving Company, are just fantastic with or without water. Um, and they're just great. As a side note, um, everybody knows my, my fan, my fanboy status with uh, Blackland as well. And this, and this uh, new brush is tremendous. Nicely weighted, good synthetic knot. And it matches the Blackbird. So if you get a chance, head on over to the Shaving Cadre and check out our vendors. And those of you from the Cadre that follow me, please uh, support our vendors. Uh, they're here for you. And uh, 
It's nice to have them here. We will be uh, showcasing Mystic Water next time. Uh, Mystic Water has been around a long time and a favorite of a lot of us here on the forum and well before uh, when the cadre got started. So stay tuned for that one as well. And Dale's soaps are plenty slick enough to uh, do um, cleanup. Okay, there we go. Also, the nice thing about Dale's soaps is they leave your skin feeling very, very hydrated. Uh, really, really nice. See what the alum says? Yeah, I think that was a little heavy-handed on my lip. But not too bad other than that. And that, uh, the smell, uh, the, the fragrance of the um, ombres is just, just fantastic. You know, the fig comes out, the lime, uh, just, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. So if he ever brings it out again, try it. But in the meantime, try all of his other soaps. And once again, you can reach him at uh, www.thevictoryshavingcompany.com. And we're going to use some... Wild Country, Vintage Avon. Thank you, Spider, for this. I cherish it. And Wild Country almost has a little bit of a, a pear, apple note um, that goes very well with this soap. Um, and, of course, being a a DJ at one time, and then also uh, having the TSC radio show. Yes, I know. We're going to get it going again in 2021. Uh, so thank you, Spider, for this, KJ. Really appreciate it. And for the talc, we're going to be using Boro Talco today because I don't want to ruin any of the wonderful flavoring that's on my face already. And this is basically just an Italian powder. And we'll be spotlighting more of the vendors with different soaps over this series because um, I'm going to try to go through most of their flavors that I have uh, in the fragrances. So there will be a couple of vendor spotlights that aren't on the TSC, but those will be at the very end. And probably the fragrance that I will be using when we do our Mystic Water um, vendor spotlight is going to be probably my favorite, which is uh, Coconut Lime Verbena. I may pick another one because she's got, uh, Michelle's got wonderful, wonderful soaps. And then, of course, we're going to be doing uh, Lisa with Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations um, and our other vendors as well. Alrighty, and we're going to finish up with Duke Cannon. Now, once again, Duke Cannon, um, you can find Duke Cannon in Target, Walmart, stuff like that. But the thing about what I like about them is they support military causes, which is very nice. And this proper cologne is as strong as an ED, uh, an Eau de Parfum. So, uh, wonderful smell, and it matches. In fact, the Randolph, the Randolph is bergamot, lavender, and leather, which goes really well 
with the black cedar and juniper and stuff like that. So that's it for our shave. Thank you so much for joining me at uh, Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. I'm Barbara Dave. Check out theshavingcadre.com at www.theshavingcadre.com. And don't forget, Victory Shaving Company, www.victoryshavingcompany.com. Thanks and have a great day.